As you are likely aware, as of about two weeks ago, a Windows update caused many computers to crash, specifically with Kyocera and a couple of Ricoh printers and a few other models that were causing this issue. The particular stop code was APC underscore index underscore mismatch, and what failed precisely was the Win32K full.sys file. Now there have been various workarounds, I posted one earlier, and some computers this workaround did not work. And last week Microsoft released updates 5001567 for Windows 2004 and 20H2 and update 5001566 for Windows 1903 and 1909. However, once again, on some computers this update did not work. So this week, Microsoft released two new updates, and these updates have worked. So how do you get these two updates and what are they? Well, let's first go to our web browser. And a good website to keep in your back pocket is the following. So catalog.update.microsoft.com. Here you can actually manually download the update, because what happens is on many computers, when you go into Start Settings, Windows Update, you check for Windows Updates, Sometimes it comes up with this update, like on mine, you can see it is listed here. And this is sp the specific update that we're looking for, KB5001649, if you have Windows 10 2004 or 20H2. And if you have Windows 10 version 1903 or 1909, you need 5001648. So if this doesn't show up, because on many systems that I've dealt with, this update was not showing up on their computer you need to come to this Microsoft Update Catalog and you can manually download it. But first, how do you find out what version of Windows you're running? Click on your Start button and simply type WinVer, abbreviated for Windows version. Right here, you'll see that mine is version 20H2. Look at this line right here. This is the line that you need to pay attention to, whether it's 1903, 1909. But if you do have 1903, make sure you update ASAP because 1903 has is near end of life already. So once you've got that determined, you'll know which version to download. So come up into this box right here and say, for example, on my case, I am running Windows 10 version 20H2. I'm going to type in 5001649. Now, if you have version 1903 or 1909, type 1648. Click on search and here you'll see all the updates. So at the top is for Windows 10 version 2004 and near the bottom is Windows 10 20H2. Look for your particular Windows version. In this case, if you've got a 64-bit, you'll download this file, and I'm assuming most people by now would be on the 64-bit operating system. So download this. It's a fairly large file at 446 megabytes. Save it to your computer first. I always like to save things rather than run it directly in case something goes wrong with the download. Once it's finished downloading, you can run the file and it'll, it's a cumulative update, which is why it's so big. So run the update, reboot your computer when prompted, and this has fixed the computer or fixed the issue on every computer so far that I've run into. And there's been more than a few, believe me. So hopefully now, finally, we can put this problem to, re to rest. Take care, folks. Have a fantastic day. Bye now.